Hi everyone, welcome to Thursday Thursday. Thank you very much for tuning in for another Bargo beer review. But before I get cracking on the beer review, a couple of life's mysteries, as you know, to make you ponder. Is the Gurdon Light really the spirit of a murdered miner? And how many people do you know in your daily life who are consistently inconsistent? Anyway, up on the show today, tipping the scales at 4% ABV from the Wickwa Wessex Brewing Company, it is Bob Classic Amber Ale. Now this cost me £1.25, or oh, right on the back somewhere, £1.25 English pence from supermarket Lidl here in the UK. It's in a, it's in a clear bottle, quite f funky contemporary artwork, I quite like that, and quite a nice cap as well. There you go. Um, not really familiar with these guys, so quite looking forward to trying my first one of their wares. Now, we've got our familiar Star Wars bottle opener, as always, made of froth be with you. Let's get it popped and poured into a glass here, which is like. Nice bit of hiss. Nice little bit of can of smoke as well. Like frothing up on the old uh, neck as well. We've got a tulip style glass. Now, Quick reminder, to be a bargain beer on my show, you've got to cost £1.25 English pence or less for a 500ml bottle. You could be a bigger bottle, you could be a smaller bottle. However, pro rata ratioed, 125, 500ml. That is how you get a guest slot on Thirsty Thursday. Right. Not quite the amber colour I was expecting, to be honest, but there you go, quite nice artwork. I really like that, actually. That's the sort of thing that... Um, that's like an artwork that something like Tony Howard of Big H Brewery, Hi Tony, might come up with on one of his uh, um, labelling exercises. I think that looks really cool and funky. Right. It's almost like a conquer colour, to be honest. It's, it's not the amber style I was thinking of. Um, we got just under a one finger head. Carbonation wise, not a great deal going on in there, to be honest. Um, that's what she looks like. Let's dive in for a sniff and see what she's like. Maybe a bit, little bit of toffee, little bit of caramel. Maybe a smidge bit of, almost like green tea. So green tea, cedar, bit of floral, that is going to be Challenger Hops. So that's what I'm getting from it. Can um, you see that colour? It's not, it is actually a really, really beautiful colour, but not quite the colour I was expecting from an amber ale. But it looks fantastic. Cheers, everyone. There's sweetness in there. There is not much on the bittering, on my palate anyway. If you went on the old, you know, maybe two and a bit out of five on bittering, three out of five on sweetness for me. That, that challenger, I sometimes call it a challenger twang. Um, it was faint in the aroma, but it very, very much comes through on the taste of the beer. Now, there's something else in there as well. Maybe to help with the bittering. I'm not sure if that's a bit of fuggles in there, just to give it like that sort of backbone, as it were. But all I really get is that challenger type taste. Um, maybe a little bit gloopy as well. Um, it's quite a good body on it, to be honest. It's a good medium body beer. Um, I say just. Yeah, cedar, floral, but that green tea that's off the Challenger hops. That's all that I'm really picking up from here. Now, it's not necessarily my favourite style of beer with that particular characteristic, but you know, I don't mind it. You know, I'll uh, I'll drink and review anything. Um, sometimes for the worst, for my own sins. But you know, it's you know one pound twenty five. You, you can't really knock that for a bargain beer. To be honest, let me just give it a quick. I've had quite a few beers today and a few and a few glasses of wine, so I'm probably not in the right state to like twirl it that way. So there you go, that bring, brings a little bit of head back, but can you watch that dissipate. Right, summary. 
looks okay, smells okay. If you like the Challenger hops, you like that green tea type uh, nitty gritty of, of on, on, on your back end, on your taste, you know, you'll re really enjoy this. It's not necessarily my favourite style of beer. Thirsty Thursday score out of 10. I could be mean because it's not the style of beer that I particularly enjoy. However, I don't think it's badly brewed. I think for the price point, it's a, you know, ruddy good effort to be honest so I am going to give that quite a respectable 7 out of 10 I say if you like Challenger hops and you're passing Lidl 125 go and pick one up give it a bash I think you might quite like that and also I think if you're a fan of Green King beers you will enjoy it as well and if you don't like Green King beers then you'll probably know what I mean so right thanks for watching everyone see you again real soon right here Thursday Thursday for another bargain beer review thanks for watching everyone be seeing you.